What is the worst thing you've ever masturbated to? Watching Nickelodeon when I was 12. The when I was 12 seems like a really important addition. That old show they used to come on Comedy Central drawn together. There was a lot of overtly sexual content in that show, though. The one scene I remember was Foxxy showing Princess how to masturbate. She keeps grabbing more and more toys before grabbing a raw chicken wing. When she finishes, the chicken wing is fried. Not the worst thing, but that Simpsons episode where Marge got a boob job. Throw away because I'm deeply ashamed of this. Suspected my partner of a decade was cheating on me. Set up a bunch of surveillance to confirm, including recording her Skype calls. Confirmed she was cheating on me. Evidence included Skype phone sex calls. I was devastated. The relationship ended. I was extremely depressed bordering on suicidal. Well not even bordering. I was very much planning to kill myself for a while. Anyway as angry and hurt as I was, there was a part of me that was still completely in love with her and missed her. There were a couple times I listened to those recordings and masturbated while pretending she was talking to me because the sound of her voice and hearing her orgasm was the only thing that could get me hard. Then afterwards I would cry and want to kill myself. When I was in the 5th grade, the craziest thing was the dictionary definition of the word vagina. Dude, I was too young, but the wrestler editor in WWE Smackdown on PS1. I don't know, the female wrestler character just looked so blocky and hot. Hell, I think I'm a do it again, if I can get a hold off a PS1 in the game. Might take a while. Finally my time to shine. I was pretty young, maybe like 8, 9, 10, something like that. Too young to be able to ejaculate but old enough to get a funny feeling in my penis and want to play around with it to no results sometimes. One night I wandered out of my room and my parents were watching something in the living room. It was in black and white and there seemed to be a bunch of naked people walking around and then the naked people were in a big pile. At this point my parents realized I was there and yelled at me to go back to my room and what was on TV wasn't for kids. I thought it was some kind of porn. It wasn't the first time I've caught them watching something like Cinemax or something I wasn't supposed to see. That image popped up a lot in my early fruitless wiener rubbing sessions. Naked people in a big pile. Yeah. Many years later I saw the footage and recognized it as parts of it had been burned into my younger mind. Unfortunately it was part of a holocaust documentary and the naked people had been killed and put into a big naked pile to be dumped into a mass grave. The jogging yard scene in Schindler's List. In my defense, this was in the 90s before the ubiquity of porn that is the internet. Still though. I have a mutual friend who told me once that she knew two boys that wanked each other off while watching porn. So they went over to each other's house just to hang. Then both decided they were horny but instead of doing it themselves they both sat close to each other and pulled each other's penis while watching porn. Now that is friendship. That one scene in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where Voldemort has Harry held down and telling him he wants to kill him or whatever. Friend sleeping in the same room as me. Guy ducking a giant gummy bear. In my defense, he had a really nice penis. Don't know if it makes it better or worse that I'm female and generally have next to no sex drive. A game called Metal Slug 3 on PS2 a long time ago. In that game there's these maggot creatures that kinda explodes and killed your character with its blood. If you're using a female character you can see their breasts for a split sec. This and the Kyra screams made my teenage self very horny. Edit. The FKD up part is that I think the character's supposed to be melting from being exposed to the maggot's bodily fluid. That end scene from Sausage Party. I just watched that because of your comment. I have an erection. But instead of blood, it's full of shame. My brother's GF. And now current wife. Once while they were having sex in the same room where I was also sleeping. That's ducked up. 
We were on a family camping trip and had rented out a couple cabins at a campground. The kids stayed in one, the parents in the other. My brother and I each brought along a friend. My brother had just started dating this girl, so I told the parents she was my friend, so she could come with us. I had no interest in my brother's friend. Mid evening, they thought we were sleeping, so my friend and brother joined the same bed and started going at it. She was extremely hot and I've always been into girls just as much as boys. She was on top of him, her large breasts bouncing up and down. She was moaning, and nature just took its course. For the record, my fun time came solely from watching her do her thing. LOL. There was no brotherly love involved. He was on the bottom, half covered in blanket, her on top of him, and our beds were at the same level, so I honestly couldn't really even see him. Video of myself masturbating. Probably, was too scared to look at actual porn so decided to make some. Once on Google Images I found a nude picture of some random girl, and it looked exactly like the girl in my high school who everyone considers hot. One time I accidentally left it up on Safari and I opened it in front of her. She didn't see it but a couple other people did. Long story short, I'm now kind of a badass cause they all thought she sent me nudes. She's also very religious and wants to wait till marriage. Not the weirdest thing but I've beat my penis to that multiple times and I don't regret it one bit. One time in HS when I was senior I beat it to a freshman who was into me. Never did anything with her for obvious reasons. Even though I was a pretty young senior. But one day I caught her looking at my penis. And then it happened. Them teenage hormones man. I dated a freshman when I was a senior. I was a young senior. She was an older freshman. I she was almost 16 and I had just turned 17 when we started talking dirty on snapchat. Her dad went through her phone and that was the only thing that kept me from ducking her while it was illegal. We later ended up ducking anyway but after she turned 16. Britney Spears. Toxic. The music video with her in the schoolgirl uniform came out right when I was at puberty. Thanks to that video I have a schoolgirl fetish. Edit. Schoolgirl outfit. Not schoolgirls. When I was 12. I jacked off to the South Park scene where Martha Stewart shoves a turkey up her AI later found out she was voiced by a guy. Now you have to get a guy to jack off to you. It reverses the gay polarity. My music teacher. She was a BBW and had huge bouncy breasts but she also had a gun. A bicycle seat. It's the perfect shape for a woman or man is what my inner voice said when I saw it. Anatomically, I knew I my brain was wrong, but my balls never seem to care about small details like where a person's orifices are actually located. My, not me but a friend of mine masturbated in class next to this thick girl. When she got up to use the restroom, he sniffed the seat where she sat. A week later he moved. Edit. People are saying this is me. To be clear this was not me. I was across the room when this happened. Episode 192 of UGR. When the card gingerbread house increases luster dragons ATK to 2500 and then destroys it. Which was represented by the dragon eating the sweets and getting super fat. Something was awakened in me that day. This will get buried but one time I was home alone and women's tennis was on. Namely Maria Sharapova. She's pretty hot but when she hits the ball she makes that loud sex grunt. The chick she was playing was also making loud sex grunts and... Well I jerked it to them playing tennis and imagined it was them having sex. Good night. A long while back when my busty so was off a game on a game and cheated but even when we were broken up we stayed friends. At the time I frequented the forums of Tits and Tops website. The forum was mostly porn and amateur posts. There was a personal section and seen some local NY area guys post. At the time she asked me to help her with setting up her dating profile. Mid 2000s not everyone was computer savvy. I later sent a link to her dating profile to the local NY area guys on the forum. 
gave some tips and in return got some pics and video of her on date. Stripping, giving head, titty ducking and ducking. Called it our busty lusty pen pal triangle. Looking back it was ducked up. We rekindled with an open relationship on her end and she was made aware of it. Even though it was ducked up I can't help myself every now and then to go back to the pics and video as material. Worst in the sense I feel like a terrible person after each time.